Good morning guys and welcome back to another Weekend Shave and Soap Review. And today we're going to review Cold River Soap Works Select. This is Vetiver Modern. And as always, let's start with the scent profile as described by Cold River Soap Works. Take a look. And here's a quick look at the ingredients. All right, so getting right into it. Packaging on this is superb. This is a 10 without question. It's one of the classier presentations uh, out there on scent. Uh, strength, this is about a 6.5. It's not super stout, but boy, the scent is great. The scent quality on this is a 10. It's a knockout for me. I just absolutely love it. It's the best uh, vetiver scent that I'm aware of, to be honest with you. Um, the consistency of this soap, it's uh, it's on the far end of medium towards hard, but it's very, very nice. Now let's go ahead and uh, start loading this bad boy up. Today we're going to use our uh, usurper brush, which is from Shave Revolution. And no, I don't know when those are going to go for sale or on sale, but I do really enjoy this brush a lot. So when you do see them, I think it's very nice. This uses a Plasson type knot. And it's got a nice uh, hefty handle. Very, very nice brush. In fact, one of my favorites, Justin, Justin from Shave Revolution is really working hard to bring some products uh, to the consumer at a decent price. And hopefully this will be well priced when it comes out. All right, just to give you a look here at the load. I can tell you right now, before I even do the shave, the um, performance on this will be a 10. Cold River Soap Works is one of the best performers out there, in my opinion. Uh, we can go ahead and do the cost too. Uh, cost on this is a little bit over that $4 mark, which uh, sort of indicates a more expensive soap. But I have to say, given the quality of the soap all around, I still think it's a decent price. I'd give it an 8.5. All right. All right. I think we got a decent load. Let's wet the face and get going. Stand by. Oh, by the way, the shirt today, MSU, Mississippi State Bulldogs. And yes, I got stuff to shave here. I'm not going to use the air blade as some ridiculous folks have <laughs> accused me of in the past. Using the uh, standard razor and gunmetal finish is what we'll be using for shave all right a little more water here and let's get the lather this is beautiful stuff this cold river soap works uh, vetiver modern just beautiful man and this brush works wonderfully too just excellent just feels like a pillow on your face but it's a little more dense than the plus on so you get the feeling of more density, I won't say backbone, I'll just say more density. I need a little water. But really great brush in my opinion. I think a lot of people are really gonna like it. Very nice. Oh, this soap smells great. Really a wonderful scent. Haven't seen a lot of new stuff from Cold River lately, but their existing lineup is quite good. Really is one of the better soaps out there in terms of overall quality. Not cheap, or I should say not inexpensive, but uh, really is nice soap. All right. Let's get going with the standard. This guy's a pretty efficient razor. It's light, but it's efficient. See if you can hear this feedback. Don't know if you can hear that a lot or uh, or not, I should say, but provides for a good bit of feedback. Let's get the stash. I generally speed the video up when I get the stash because nobody just wants to watch a video, in my opinion, where there's no talking and a guy's just dragging a razor over his face. To me, that's not very entertaining, but it's just me. Everybody has their own preferences as to why they watch videos. Some really want to watch the shave and the shave technique. Those are mostly new people. Some people want to watch 
to see what's going on in someone's lives. Some people want to watch for the products. All right, great first pass. Let's rinse the face, come back to pass two. Very good stuff here all around. The rays are quite efficient, but light and really nice. Brush hitting the spot. Everything just coming together for a nice shave. And on my lather, I like to go fairly thick on the first pass and then a little less so on subsequent passes. Now, that's not the right or wrong way to do it. It's just the way that works best for me. So you lather in the way that you prefer. The right lather is the one that works well for you, regardless of how it looks be it more on the wet side, be it dry. It's the one that works for you, that gives you a great shave without irritation, cuts, nicks, etc. Okay, let's get on with pass number two. Very nice. This is a itchy nose there. Nice razor here. And I've had them a couple of times in black and the silver. They end up getting rid of them, and I'm gonna be honest. The reason why is they wouldn't stand up for a shave of the day pick. And that's petty as all get out, I realize it. But it's, it was just aggravating because that rounded in. But this one came with the stand, so. I sort of have an OCD thing. And it just aggravated me to no end that this would not stand up or couldn't really get it placed good for shave of the day. Now, I admit fully that is no reason to get rid of a razor, but my OCD sometimes is rough. The littlest thing aggravates me. Like part of a label starts coming up on a soap or any little thing, it just really sets it off. And that's just me. Yeah. Most people would find that ridiculous, but it's just me. All right, let's rinse the face, come back for pass three. Very, very nice all around. The soap is just beautiful. Really all of the equipment. Just absolutely beautiful. Really gonna... One of the reasons I really like to shave in the morning, besides the fact that, you know, I don't go to work with a bunch of growth, is it just starts your day off in such a positive, in such a positive way, I should say. You have that nice shave, you get that aftershave going, and it just makes you feel good. Or at least it does me. And that's part of the reason why I really enjoy this hobby is because every morning you just get to start off the day feeling great. All right, third pass, we go a little less dense on the lather and try to. This stuff here is a really good stuff, the Cold River. never tried it I would recommend that you do because it really is good stuff nice residual slickness there yep good stuff oh looks like I actually cut a pimple or something that I had there that's a rare thing for me that is not a uh, nick from the razor, that's a bump that I ran over and caused it to bleed, but you won't see that very often with me. Rarely do I bring any sort of blood on a shave, but of course if you run over a pimple or an ingrown hair, which is likely what that is, with a nice efficient razor, you won't get a little blood. All right, let's get the stash here. Excellent, all right. So there's a third pass. Let's rinse the face and come back and go over the aftershave and wrap this thing up, stand by. All right, that little uh, ingrown hairs almost stopped bleeding. We'll go ahead and apply a little alum there. I don't use alum except for circumstances like this. It's very rare for me to use alum just because I don't need it and it does tend to dry your skin out uh, so but for some people it works beautifully and it's part of their routine every single day not for me you know what I use part of my everyday routine this Thayer's cucumber witch hazel 
which of course is magic because it's made by witches. And I would prefer it to be made by the uh, bewitched type. Can't remember the lady's name, Sam. That type witch is to the uglier type witches, but who knows what type of witches make it. Yeah, I know, goofy. Not the greatest comedy, but it is what it is. This is beautiful stuff, the Thayer's uh, Cucumber Witch Hazel. All right, let's dry the hand so I can grab my gear here. The uh, Usurper by Shave Revolution. Nice, synthetic, not, don't know when it would be for sale, but it is a winner for me, absolutely, without question. Standard razor, gun model, very nice, efficient, light, different type of razor. And we're going to finish this off with the Cold River Vetiver Modern Splash, which is very nice. These don't stick around a super long time, but they are very, very nice um, for the short amount of time that they're around. Beautiful scent. Feels good on the skin. Very nice. Of course, since this is the matching aftershave to the soap, it's, it's a perfect match. It's beautiful. Nice bottle, nice presentation. It's very good stuff. They just don't hang around a super long time. All right, and last but not least, let's get back to the soap, which was uh, Cold River Soap Works Select. Vetiver Modern. Do I recommend it? Glass is fogging up. Yes, I do. If you like vetiver scents, this is a great one in my opinion. It's absolutely wonderful. It's my favorite vetiver scent, or at least if it's not my favorite, it's in the top two. Let's put it that way. So thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great weekend.